Today I'm going to be going over how to create a campaign on Thomason. Now before I start, one of the most common questions we get is, just because I create and publish a campaign and influencers apply, do I actually have to hire those influencers? And the answer is no. Creating a campaign simply gets it your product out into our marketplace so that influencers can apply and then at a later date you can manually hire those people that you want to work with. So to start, the first thing you'll want to do is have a marketing goal. And you can see you can select everything from working with professional influencers uh, to do high-end kind of campaigns or getting a social buzz created, as well as working with micro-influencers on things like feedback, reviews, even social deals so that you can help maintain sales velocity on websites like Amazon. Now, one of the major things that I want to have people understand is the difference between content distribution and all these other four campaign types. Content distribution is just that. You will be submitting content only. So for example, you want an influencer to share a social post or you want uh, to have an influencer talk about your contest that you have going on, but you don't need to send them any product. These are great reasons to use content distribution, where all these other campaigns you're actually going to be sending the influencer a physical product. Uh, or a digital product for that matter. Now, if you have any questions on how to create a content distribution in a little bit more detail, come down here to help and either type in content distribution into the uh, search bar or you can see here right now it's even pulling it up how to create content distribution campaigns. So today what I'm actually going to be focused on is creating an unboxing campaign. So I'm going to pick what social channels I actually want the influencers to post on. So I want a YouTuber and, an in and somebody to post on Instagram. Now it doesn't mean that influencers won't apply with uh, just Instagram or just YouTube, or they may even add in the mix uh, a blog post. But this is telling them the direction that you're looking to go. Budget per influencer, this is a mere suggestion. Just because you enter in a budget does not mean you need to pay the influencer. Again, influencers will apply with more or less. I typically like selecting best ROI because it allows me to show the influencers that I'm serious. Product details. You can either create a new product, enter an ASIN, or fetch existing ones. I'm going to enter an ASIN, and you can see I've already copied it. So you'll paste it, click Update, and it's going to pull in the product details for you. Now, if there's any errors, for example, here you need to enter a category, simply click on Edit, and it's going to bring up the page. You can select, for example, I'm going to go with Clothing, and scroll down, and you can see all the information has been pulled in. Now, a very important point is looking at the product URL. The product URL is the URL that will be shared socially. So if an influencer is posting something about you on Facebook, Instagram, they're linking back to you, they're going to be using this URL. So make sure that your product URL is the URL you want to be shared socially. Okay, I'm going to save the product information, and now it's going to take us down to shipping. We can ship everywhere from Amazon to using a coupon code outside Amazon. This is non-Amazon sites. If you're sending a coupon code in Amazon or a gift card or something, make sure to select the Amazon option. Email via the Thomason Message Center. A lot of times you'll have digital products that you can send uh, via the Message Center. Or you can send it a normal shipping carrier like FedEx, UPS, etc. I'm going to select Amazon. At this point, I'm going to be sending the product for free. And I'm going to be wanting to work with an influencer, so do I want to require them to have Prime? No, I don't need that as a barrier to entry, but there are certain situations where you may want that. For example, a social deal. Will you send a coupon code? Yes, I'm going to be sending a coupon code. And in my case, I may be sending a gift card or some other kind of uh, redemption code to get the product to this influencer for free. So I'll be entering them in one line at a time. And what's great about this is then when you start to hire them, it'll first send this one, then this one, then this one. So they'll go through the different uh, codes that you send out. Or you can also import a CSV file. Now something very important is make sure that when you're hiring people, you're understanding how long these coupon codes are valid for because we've had people send out invalid coupon codes. So keeping up with those is something that you're definitely going to want to do. And you can even edit them on your manage page at a later date or add new ones. If you don't have them at this juncture, you don't need to enter these in. It's a nice idea because it makes the process a little bit more seamless. 
Now, where can you redeem the coupon code? This is the exact URL where you're going to want the influencer to redeem the coupon code. Majority of the time, it's the same one that you used in the product URL, but if you have other, uh, potentially it might be a different URL, you can simply click on change, you can add a new URL, or use our link rotator, which is located right here on the left, to rotate between multiple URLs. Again, use the help uh, section to learn a little bit more about the link rotator. The final component is going to be your settings. Now, these are optional. You can do everything from hashtags to special instructions. Special instructions is something that is really nice because you can give a little bit more direction to the influencer. For example, this is a hat and you want it taken in nature. Make that comment in special instructions so that the influencers have a little bit more direction. There's other prerequisites that you can select like gender, age, country, total reach. You can even make a campaign private, which means that it won't go out into our marketplace. And then you can have a specific URL to share with only the influencers that you want to come and apply to your campaign. At this point, if there are no other options, either preview or publish the campaign. Once the campaign is published, it will be submitted to our admins to review and make sure everything is accurate. Please allow 6 to 24 hours for a campaign to be published and pushed live onto our site.